y'all. I have not, like, sat down and filmed a video in so long. Mostly because of time. I... A lot has gone on in the last, like, month, to be honest. Which probably would make up the entirety of 2021 being so boring. Do y'all see this shirt? Do you... I don't like this. For some reason, I felt like it would be a little bit more down this is probably gonna be like the one and only time i get to wear this top but i look so hot so it's fine right so i've been working just working working, working hard, hard so, so i can, I can please, please you, you. <laughs> I <hate it. laughs> but oh seriously i have two jobs right now let's start this video with that oh uh, that's where i've been basically i've literally i literally have two jobs right now literally have two jobs right now um, I am on a merch team at Crate and Barrel, but I'm also a pharmacy tech and training at CVS. And CVS has been giving me so many hours, I don't think I've ever had a chance to breathe when the sun was out. Um, I like both jobs. I like Crate. I love the people I work with. I love, I actually like very much enjoy doing what I do there. CVS, it's mostly just so I can get the certification and look good on my resume, to be honest, but like, I'm learning, and it's cool, and I'm making hella money, um, but that, I feel like that's a good way to end the year, you know, making a bunch of money, literally today is payday, it's New Year's Eve and today was payday, literally, I have been wanting to make a video for so long, but I can't seem to get any type of schedule in at all to not only film, but also to like, just figure everything else out because it's so sudden that I got like a new job um well a second job rather um but yeah that's that's where I'm at really if y'all have been following me for a while I was working at Tilly's at the beginning of the year literally I was working at Tilly's well like a year after I started making like videos and you would notice that almost every single haul that I've done was from Tilly's um and as much as I miss it there, I do not miss how stressed out I was my last, like, six months there. It was absolutely terrible. Um, and it was time for a change, and that's where I ended up at Crate. Um, and while it's still a little bit stressful, because what job isn't going to be a little bit stressful, I still, like, very much enjoy it. It's very different. It's it's similar to what I did at Tilly's before I was a manager, but it has their own twist because it's, it's not clothes. It's, like, houseware stuff. Um... Yeah, that's cool. Mm. Do you guys want to see what I got for Christmas? I bought about a good half of this stuff. I bought myself some boxers, mostly just to sleep in, not like to like wear out necessarily. Um, this is a good segue to saying that I am just questioning everything in life from sexuality to gender and all the other jazz. And while I love being like a woman, and I'm not ever going to like take that part of my identity away from me. Sometimes I feel like not being girly. And maybe it's just as simple as that. Like sometimes I just want to be more masculine. Um, therefore, boxers. I feel like it's more a little bit more in depth than just being a tomboy for a day versus being a girly girl for a day. Cause also my style has been like changing this entire year. Like if you've seen any of like my, my um outfit videos or any of my posts on Instagram, you would see how I have have just a weird style um but it works because i have the confidence enough to pull it off um and that's great i got an eyeliner i got an epic wear waterproof blue eyeliner it's like it's kind of royal blue that i think about it sapphire it's called sapphire um it's nyx and i suck at eyeliner but i'm gonna try anyways because makeup is art I bought myself some socks. <laughs> I also bought myself another makeup palette because it has brighter colors. Or at least it looked like I had brighter colors in the picture. I'm gonna be really upset when I open it and it's not like bright. But it's a pretty palette. So now I have like five makeup palettes. And I think that's one of the goals that I want of 2022 is to experiment with makeup more. Because honestly, it just looks so much like fun. Um, and honestly, I really see makeup as an art. So I'm not really like insecure about my face. I think I have a pretty nice face to be honest. Um, pretty average, pretty nice, whatever. But like makeup is fun to do. And it's, it's like painting on your face. And I like to paint even though I suck at it. So I shouldn't be surprised that I suck at makeup, I guess. But with practice, 
yeah i had a panera gift card but i literally already used it all um and it only reminded me because my brother got me this gift card one of those visa 25 dollars gift cards somebody got me disney socks i don't remember which family member did but they have mickey mouse inside and they're so cute my mom got me and my sister both the same necklace it just says love it's like a handmade like what is it called like when they hand make it and it's like it's it's gold <sighs> um but it's a necklace and it's really pretty um i'm like genuinely afraid to wear it but also considering most of my job anyways i'm like running around i don't want to like lose it so i haven't like worn it yet um but i will soon because it's really pretty and my mom has a matching one so all me my sister and my mom have the same necklace it is so cute my mom also bought me this pack of two like really soft really warm socks um, and again, I don't like socks to wear inside, but like when it gets cold, I'm gonna wear these like all the time. The last thing from here my sister bought me because she knows I'm a Lush fiend. I love Lush like so much. Um, so she bought me this bath bomb. I do not remember what it's called, but it's lavender. And I'm noticing that most of the round bath bombs are like geometrical on the bottom. They're not just sitting there round with like a slight like flatness on the bottom. And it's really cool. And I remember when I worked at Lush, you are not supposed to take it out of the bag. You're, allowed to, you're supposed to let it fizz out of the bag because it catches all the lavender seeds and you don't want to grow a garden in your house. So this one is intergalactical, as we already know. See, they literally have geometrical bottom. But this one, because I love citrus sea scents, this one has always been one of my favorites. And it's so pretty. Stains your tub a little bit, but it's really pretty. Oh, they gave me a little plate, like a little like ring plate. I did not see this when I first opened this. This is so cute. Got another bath bomb. I... This is orange, obviously. It's an orange bath bomb. I don't know what the name of it specifically is called, but it's really citrusy. And I, I'm honestly more of like a lemon citrusy than like an orange citrusy, but I still love citrus scents. It's like uplifting, if that makes sense. So the last thing she got was this like little string light sets. It's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. They're kind of like leaves. Um, it's kind of like a vine. I haven't used like, um, like, uh, like fairy lights or like string lights in so long, but I really want to use them the day that I either get like an off campus apartment or like an on campus apartment when I go physically back to a college campus or like if I got an apartment. So I'm definitely gonna, those are gonna be like the first things I put, probably like by the front door or something. That's all I got for Christmas and I'm very thankful about it. Um, Everything was so nice and Christmas is such a great time, honestly. Spending time with the family when like nobody's mad at each other and like everything is actually not that bad, even though the situation around the world is like pretty freaking bad. Um, it's really nice. So I very much appreciated this like moment of time to spend with my family. What else happened in 2021? Um, I was single all year. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with it. I've learned to get to I've learned to accept the fact that I'm single and just accept the fact that like, I didn't really have a lot of self-love. I never really had a lot of self-love to begin with, but like each year I would get a little bit more and more. I think I had the most growth with self-love this year. Um, I started, I wanna say I started taking care of my body more, but not really, to be honest. I gained weight um, and a lot of people think that like weight is a touchy topic, but I had always been like, on um, borderline underweight but i was really like right on the line of being healthy weight um and i gained more weight i think i mostly gained more muscle with um working at crate and i wasn't too stressed out to like not eat so i was eating more um low-key a little too much <laughs> if i'm being real um but i was eating more and not necessarily exercising more every now and again i would exercise a little bit but um i'm paying attention to myself more and that's honestly like the best thing I've done for myself this year. I'm learning how my body reacts to certain medications because I am <laughs> full of anxiety all the time. Also learning that I have been diagnosed with ADHD this year and it came at like the worst timing ever. I lost one of my closest friends um, due to a mistake that I made while going through my own stuff. I had known her since I was literally like five years old and we were we almost were about to be like friends for 15 or like 16 years. Um, but like this year she was going through it and I was going through it and I did not mean to neglect her and her needs from uh, me 
and, and ended up in a loss of a friendship. I did try to reach out, maybe try to see if we could rekindle a friendship, but sometimes you just gotta let people go. And that's like the worst, worst thing for me. I suck at letting people go. I, I hate when people I've met for like a month just stop talking to me. It, it's the worst. It's like I got punched in the chest. I've, I've always known I had some sort of like really bad attachment issues. That's why it was really bad when I dated a guy like my second semester ever of college when we broke up, I was really sad about it and it took forever to get over it. And every person that I've met like um, when I worked at Tilly's and like even people that like I work at Crate with now that like when they left, I was so upset about it. I kind of express how sad I was when I finally left Tilly's. Like it was so much better for my mental health but I was so upset. Like everybody that I made friends with there, people that I've trained, um, all the associates that like, you're my favorite manager, you're my favorite like associate. It was so, it was so nice to like, have people actually like, like me and like be fond of me enough to like talk to me and like have respect at work. Especially being like a really young like manager. Um, it was nice, but also it had to come to an end. With not working at at Tilly's anymore also came with a big decrease in my spending for clothes and an entire increase in spending food, spending money on food. So a lot of the last few months of uh, this year, I've been trying to get rid of them, um, selling them on apps, donating them. I literally made a goal for November, which I didn't really upkeep as well as I wanted to, but to get rid of a few things every day, like three things every day, it didn't matter if it was like clothes, it was jewelry, nail polish, it's old, things I don't use anymore, like all that sort of stuff. And honestly, looking back at the beginning of when I started it, my room is a lot less like cluttered. Still have a long way to go for sure, but it's not a lot less cluttered. I have a lot more space in my closet. Um, a lot more space in my drawers too. Like I got rid of a lot of t-shirts that I don't wear anymore. Um, and I think it doesn't help that since I'm at like two different jobs every day that I never really get a chance to wear things like this, you know? I'm sorry, my leg is in the way. You can't even see the shirt if you didn't pay attention to it at the beginning. I look cool as hell in this shirt. I have nowhere to wear this shirt either. And I have a lot of other really cool shirts that I have nowhere to wear like ever again because I don't really go out. I don't really like hang out with people, especially these days anyways, like I don't like movie theaters. I've never really liked movie theaters, but now I have an exact like excuse to miss out on them because you know, they're crowded and COVID. Um, I didn't like going to restaurants really very often during COVID either. Um, we're still in COVID, so I don't really foresee me going to restaurants like maybe like once every like moon, but not really. Like I so much prefer takeout and like eating at home. Anyways, I am getting a little bit better at having a sleeping schedule. Like I used to sleep all the time, especially like those days where I would just be super like depressed out of nowhere. And I would just stay in my room all day and want people to leave me the hell alone. Um, can't really do that when you have two jobs that require you to be there four or five times a week. Um, kind of have to like suck it up and force myself to get up um which entail has gotten me a slightly better sleeping schedule um but also like just the slightest two percent of a social life is gone <laughs> i got a belly button piercing um in march remember like my birthday's in april but i got it in march didn't last long because my body rejected it actually um it lasted too long because i didn't take it out until like july or august because i was too lazy to um go get it taken out because they gave me a like a like a hoop instead of like a bar and maybe it would have healed better if i had a bar but who knows you know i have i'm still young so i have another chance to go and do it again later when it like completely heals we did end up going on vacation and we were pretty much we were mostly safe with it because we didn't really like go to like disney world or like to universal we everything that we did was mostly on the uh, on like the resort, like the entire resort, like campus. I don't think campus is the right word, but you know what I mean, right? Um, they had their own like water park on, like in the resort. So we didn't have to like go anywhere. My sister got a cat, like with no permission. She just came home and was like, hey, I have a cat. And her name is Felicia. My parents named her. Um, 
she is a menace a complete menace um but she's adorable and honestly it did make me feel a little bit better because it's like damn if i'm feeling sad i'm gonna go pet this cat i did have a fish for a little bit because she also came home one day and was like here you could have this fish and he only lasted like a week <laughs> and i went to the pet store and got two more fish and apparently if you don't have the right size fish tank for them they get stressed out and die school was very hard like i barely made it with school i did end up dropping a couple of my classes just so i could <laughs> save myself from having the embarrassment of having like a c on my transcript mostly because it was very hard to focus during the school year like at all i didn't work that much when i was taking most of these classes because some of them ended like halfway through the semester because they were only like an eight-week course the other ones were hard to keep up with um and it's something that I'm interested in, but it's also part of the ADHD when I was talking to my therapist that makes it extremely hard to focus, extremely hard to actually like want to do what I know I want to do, you know? Um, so that'll be my goal this like coming year is to be able to find ways to keep my motivation up, um, which might also have to do with going on a medication for ADHD. And that is okay. If it helps, it helps. And honestly, I want to, I keep saying this every year, but I want to make better content. And I want to know how I can make better content while still doing things that I like to do. Like, I love making, like, lifestyle videos. I like vlogging. I like making hauls and outfit videos. And honestly, even though I'm not the best at doing my nails, I still like making, like, nail tutorials and um, doing, like, get ready with me's and morning routines. And I want to know how I can make the content better. Like, even if it's something, a slight change in, like, editing or in the way that I sit down and talk. Um, I wanna be able to do better. Um, <laughs> I also, I've started, I tried a few times this year and mostly actually like once during like the peak of the pandemic, that the first peak of the pandemic to start comics and actually like publish them. Um, but I've never made it past maybe like the first two chapters because I would get unmotivated. And I want to be able to actually upkeep them for once. I have way too many ideas to let them just go to waste. Um, so I want to try to continue to make comics again. And that's one of my big things. Because I used to love drawing so much. And I haven't... There was there was a time in like middle school when I was in the peak of me drawing all the time. Where I was never not drawing. I have not been able to upkeep drawing every day like I used to. I probably haven't drawn like this entire month. Um... And that sucks, first of all, because um, I do still like to draw, but I never had the motivation to um, just create anymore. And that sucks because I love, I still love to create and I love watching other people create. And most of the motivation does come from watching other people create. But the other part of the motivation also, also has to do with me, like, physically going and doing it. And I think that's what stops me sometimes. It's like, what if it doesn't turn out that good? What if it's not as quality as I want it to be? How do I make these things better? How do I like learn? And then also because nowadays I don't really have time to, I want to be able to have time to do all these things. There's only 24 hours in a day, but having, sleeping less, because I used to sleep, like spend more than half a day asleep because I was busy dreaming and wanting to be in the life that I dreamed about instead of actually physically doing it. Um, I want to put these dreams into actual like action. Um, that's what I'm doing right now still, is being able to talk to you guys and catch you up on how my life is doing and how I'm feeling and hoping that this will make me actually continue to make more content, so. But yeah, this is all I have to say today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my videos that I've made this year and I hope that you can continue to enjoy my content for this coming year. Um, and thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I don't know how to end this out because I've just been talking for too long. <laughs>